Hi right, guys, welcome back to Toy Mention. Today's been kind of a weird day. Nothing but the weather, everything's just going crazy. It's just, uh... but it was a good day at work. I actually had normal people today, it was kind of nice. So today I actually went shopping at Walmart to try to find some stuff for Toy Mention. So I went and picked up some frames, which I'm strictly used for like comic book related stuff or pictures, but I only got a few. This is actually a uh, three pack, it was like five bucks. Um, I went there originally looking for shelves. I was like, oh, I need some of those too. So I can actually mix in some pictures here and there and stuff like that with the toys. So, so what I'm going to do is, for example, this, this right here. I picked this up at Rick's Comics, I think, or whatever, in Clarksville, Tennessee. It was like 10 bucks, whatever. But uh, it's a Death of Spider-Man. It's kind of a cool comic book. It actually has Spider-Man pass away. Uh, he dies in Captain America's arms, I believe. It's got a little story to read. Pretty much the, uh, they call it the, uh, the Sinister Six get, six get together. They kind of mess up the Human Torch and I think it was Iceman, like, you know, Spider's friends or whatever. So, but he puts up a good fight at the end, beats him, whatever he does. And All right, so the concept of this is, of course, it's going to be the top because it goes straight up. So, he comes with... Obviously, like a sandwich kind of thing. You get the glass, then you get the brown, you get the black. Why you like using the black? Because I can outline it better, make it look good. It kind of fills in because, like, I don't like the white stuff or whatever around it. It kind of makes it stand out or whatever. It depends on the kind of picture, but so. But for this, like this comic is still like that too, which is still in its sleeve and everything. Then it's real easy. You just put on the glass and pop it in there. Just be careful. Remember, this is glass, so it could snap, break, or whatever. So, all right, now I got to do the bottom. Okay, boom. Ready for the wall. Yes, the sleeves in there too. But I'm keeping the original, original price tag, everything from when I bought it. So, not bad. But it's ready for show and tell. Pretty cool, guys. It's really cheap. Like I said, it's a good little concept. So, next is I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure I'm, yep, make sure the peg's up. Check. Who can't same concept, but this time with a DC comic. That's going to go to my... Special wall. All right, you know I'm a big Green Arrow fan. Well, this is the rebirth of Green Arrow being told from the 52 side. So pretty much after the crisis of Infinite Earths or whatever happens or whatever, they had a rebirth. So kind of like the CW, they call it post crisis. But so pretty much basically in it, it's Green Arrow well, starting off being Green Arrow and he meets the Canary and they well they hook up, not hook up like that, but they uh, become allies and they work good together. So. I don't think they trust each other at first. Kind of like Batman and Catwoman. So, same thing with that one. And that's also issue number one, too. That was $2.99. I picked that. Actually, I got that at Rick's Comics. So, okay. Same thing. Pop in there. Maybe. <laughs> like I said, it's been an off day, guys, but it was actually not a bad day. So, I'm fully getting a few things done. Run a few errands here and there. No crazy people. I'm just ready for everything to go back to normal-ish because it's, like I said, it's been crazy. So, this one's having, this one's not wanting to go in. So, that one. The other comic sticker, so I, I don't know. Whatever, guys, right? All right. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. There it goes. Pretty much snaps in there. Like I said, guys, it's, remember, it is glass. Oh, it keeps popping out. Come on, picture frame. You got this. That's like, this isn't warped or something. I wonder if this one's warped. Feels like it doesn't want to snap in all the way. 
because I don't want glass hanging on the wall and it's gonna fall off. If that makes sense. So pick it up, check it around. Yeah, it's in there. Tell me that's not cool though. Like you said, the black around it like that. I like it. Kind of highlights it though. It would look probably look a lot cooler though without the sleeve. But certain comics, I'm gonna keep the sleeve in there. Oh, that looks like the arrow is glowing. All right, look at that one over there. Next, these aren't comic books, but oops, not that one. All right, so this one's a little bigger, so something different is gonna go in this one. So same concept though. Pop it out. Make sure you get the upside. Every, all of, everything I'm showing you guys right now. It's going to go up on the wall, long ways, so, or vertical, so, trash, check. All right, Another random paper, you know, for advertising. All right, this one has a white background and black. Well, these next two, I'm stuck, going to stick with black, so, so I flipped it over into black. Real cheap concept, guys, and it's easy to fill the wall up. All right, DC fans, this is Batman's Automobiles. This is actually a little book based on the, Bat the Batman movie right there. And obviously, you can tell by the car which movie that is. Yes, Michael Keaton's. I love it. So it talks about his car a little bit, a little bit about the story. I mean, I'll show you guys a little bit. Pretty cool. Talks about a random, so let's go to another random page. Yep, what about the Batmobile a little bit? Some other storylines and stuff like that too, so pretty cool guys. Batman Gotham, ooh. Okay, so stick that in there. This is thick too like the other comic, but it's wider, so I think it'll fit in there better. Let's find out. But this is cool stuff because down the road I can always pull them out and like, you know, it's an actual book or there's information in there. Look at that. See? The black kind of hides it in there. Not bad, guys. I like it. Okay. Next, one of my favorite Marvel guys in the world, right? He's in the spider world, of course. And there's been talks about Maybe them making a movie about it or something like that. I've seen cartoon versions of him. I used to have tons of his comics, but I kind of they kind of disappeared on me about a year ago. Um, I ended up moving and left my comic book box somewhere, so I pretty much started fresh with comics in a way. But I don't really I collect more toys now. Um, I don't really read the comics anymore though. But I should get back into it though. There's a lot of cool stories in there. I'm probably missing out on because. Think about it, even the movies are some kind of idea from something else, but nothing's original like the comic books. So, all right, more advertising junk. Okay. All right. This one, I think I will use, I'll stick with the black background. So, flip that in there. Yep. See? See the white background? You can flip it over. Black. Ha! Ah! All right, so I'm going to keep this up here and scarlet spider if you guys you guys seen this if you guys seen who is scarlet spider i did a little video based on it too so um he came from equal moss also it's a uh, came from like it's like a little statue or something like that or it looks, looks like a chess piece but it's actual statue um i got him a while ago and of course i kept this automatically so just like the batman thing talks a little bit about him his first appearances and stuff like that too you know, he's, Scarlet Spider Ben Riley is actually the clone and it ended up taking on the mantle of Spider Man and the Spectacular Spider Man, I think it was called. Uh, comic book run. I think it was a spectacular one. So, but he had the, the big spider suit on him. His, his like, he had his uh, gloves were different. Like, he still had the Spider Man pattern, but they were like broke up and stuff like that. It wasn't really my favorite Spider Man take on it. But. It's cool. A bunch of cool art in there and stuff like that, too. So, it's just something I can pull off the wall one day and, like, hmm, am I missing something on Scarlet Spider? So, I have information hanging up. Not bad, huh? But Scarlet Spider's just so cool. He's wearing, like, a hoodie and everything, too. <laughs> so, alright. So, I'm going to put that in there, too. 
So, like I said, it came from EagleMoss.com or something like that. But they actually have some pretty good stuff. But some of this stuff is always sold out. So, you know, do what you got to do. Okay. That one. Over in there. Nice and easy. Okay. It's in there. Ta da! What do you think? So, now I got some pieces I can stick on the wall to go with my toys to match up with stuff. Because I only have a few things up right now. I think I got more green arrow stuff than like picture wise or anything like that, too. So, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And remember, five bucks, pick those up. I think the bigger ones were maybe like two or three dollars a piece. I don't remember. I don't really pay attention. So, yeah, especially if it benefits me. But, um, yeah. So, I want to make this room look really, really good. So, I just got it. Now, I got to start looking for shelves. So, all right, guys. Till next time, kitties. Remember, you can never go wrong with comics, also. But remember, keep up with your toys. Bye.